In this example, we want to find the first derivative of a fairly simple, although quite nasty looking function. Um, here is our function, the function of x uh, equals minus 2x to the power of 6, 6 minus 3, x to the power of 4 plus and so on and so forth. And what we want to find in this case here is really the first derivative and I denote this by fx prime. So how do we do that? Now the most important thing that we need to bear in mind is just a rule how we deal with uh, exponents when it comes to uh, first derivatives. And let's say we've got x to the power of n, if that is our, if that was our function, then the first derivative of this function, if we take that, would be n times x to the power of n minus 1. So fairly straightforward that uh, we can do in this uh, case. So let's see what we would get if we for example had uh, let's say our function f of x was 3x squared for example. How would this pan out for the first derivative? And if we just simply use this protocol, if you like, this recipe, then we can say, right, we've got 3 times x squared. We don't need to worry about this factor 3. And we apply the rule here, so that would be 2 times x, 2 to the 2 minus 1. So we would have 3 times 2x, 2 minus 1, and that gives x1. Or we can simplify that, that would be 6x. Just very simple. So let's move on to our example here. So we have minus 2x to the power of 6, so that will be minus 2, 6 times x to the power of 6 minus 1, minus 3 times, now we apply the rule, 4 times x to the power of 4 minus 1 plus 4 times x, we take the 3 in front of it, 3 times x, 3 minus 1, and I'm running out of space here, so I make a little bit of space, get rid of that because we know that now already, like this. So I've got enough space to continue. Now we've got an interesting one. We've got minus, we don't have a number in front of it, a factor. So we can probably write minus one. And we've got no exponent here, so that would be a 1 times x. And since this is a 1, 1 minus 1. And now we've got just a number without x, but we want to take the derivative with respect to x. So if we've got just a number of f for of x equals, let's say, a number, let's say 7, then the derivative of that would be 0. So the de derivative of any number without the x would be just simply 0. 
So that would be plus zero. So let's simplify that. So we've got minus two times six, six x, six to the, to the power of six minus one. So we've got minus 12 x to the power of five minus three times four, that's 12 x to the power of 4 minus 1, that gives 3. Plus, what have we got here? 4 times 3, that's also 12. x to the power of 3 minus 1, and that gives us 2. Minus, now that's going to be interesting, minus 1 times 1, so that gives minus 1 times 1, minus 1 times 1 times x to the power of 0, plus 0. And uh, we see that we can simplify this here, because any number to the power of 0 is 1, so we would get 1 times 1 times 1, and that would give us here negative 1. So put together we get 12 x to the 5 minus 12 x cubed plus 12 x squared minus 1. And that would be our first derivative of this rather wild looking expression up here. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.